Check the type and specifications of the installation scenario before installing an AP to determine the installation method and required materials. This video provides instructions on how to mount an AP on a T-rail ceiling in a clip joist mode. T-rails are classified into two types, ordinary T-rails and channel rails. These two rail types have identical installation procedures. Let's look at how to install an AP on a 24 mm wide T-rail to describe the installation procedures. Check the attributes and specifications of the rail before installation and select an appropriate AP mounting position as well as bracket mounting holes. AP should be installed on the main T-bar. It is prohibited to install APs on cross T's. Prepare appropriate tools and protective gear before installation. As ceilings are usually high, only experts wearing protective gear can perform installation. Do not insert a paper knife deeply into the box when unpacking to prevent damage to the device inside. To mount an AP on a T-rail, the components and tools displayed above are required. Pre-assemble the accessories to facilitate installation. Pre-install the rail locking screws on the STF2 rail bracket. Note, the screw end should not protrude from the inner surface of the bracket. Pre-install the safety screws on the mounting bracket. Note, the screw end should not protrude from the surface of the nut. Install the STF1 and the STF2 rail brackets on the main mounting bracket in sequence. Secure the screws on the STF1 internal bracket to fix it on the main mounting bracket. Ensure that the STF2 external bracket can slide smoothly. Remove a ceiling plate to confirm the position of the bearing T. The AP should be close to the joint point between the bearing T and lower main T-bar. Clamp one side of the STF1 bracket to the rail and then slide the STF2 bracket to clamp the other side. Use the M3 by 8 screw to tighten the STF2 bracket and secure the rail locking screws. Install the ground cable as required. Drill a hole on the ceiling close to the rail locking screw for the cable to pass through. Connect the cable to an interface on the AP according to your requirements. Clamp the AP on the mounting bracket. A click sound caused by the release lever indicates that the AP is mounted properly. Ensure that the four rubber feet fit into the mounting holes. Secure the safety screws. Install the ceiling plate. Check the installation and request qualified commissioning personnel to power on and commission the AP.